Okay guys, I'm going to show you another busker technique now as used by Joan Armour Trading and Bob Dylan and with this technique we just make all the chords with just two shapes yeah, that shape and that shape and we can do things like In another lifetime One of tall and blood When blackness was a virtue And the road was full of mud I came in from the wilderness A creature void of home Come in, she said, I'll give you shelter from the storm You can do stuff like that. And you can do stuff like um, May not be a friend Good ones don't come by the score Got something missing I'll help you look, you can be sure And if there's more that you need Or troubles have Whatever you want me to What you gotta do is I Set up strong, straight, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, kind of stuff and with one extra chord which I'll show you in a minute this special chord you can do I am not in love but I'm open to persuasion east or west where's the best So, it's another Bosco technique because this, you know, all this thing about C, A, you know, sorry, A, G, A, and all that. This is, you know, the book way of play. That's not how people who've played the guitar for a long time play, right? Okay, so this is another Bosco technique. Now, it, it revolves around an E major shape. That's the traditional way of playing E major in the first position down the bottom. Mm. All we're doing is we're playing it with that and those two strings, like that, instead of that. Right? Instead of that, with these two on the A and D, we're playing it with that as the anchor on the G and these two on the A and D, which leaves this finger free behind the shape. Now this is the anchor. That never moves off that string, ever. Right? And we make the chords with the other three fingers. So we make that E major shape, slide it up to the seventh fret, put the bar on the E string, the bottom E only, leaving these two top strings to ring out as a drone all the time. And then slide it back down. E major up to there. That's an A. That's a B. Slide it back down. Back down two frets, there's a G, down a fret, F sharp, down a fret, F, and back down to the E. So you're just sliding that shape up. A 
coming down. Up and down, up and down. Which means that you're going to slide the fingers over the strings back and forth. It's going to slice into your fingertips like crazy. You're going to be in agony. Practice, stop. Practice, stop. And gradually build up the toughness on the tips of your fingers and then, then you'll be flying, right? So, E major shape. Slide it up and put the bar behind. Two frets behind these two. Right, that anchor always stays on. And slide it up. And then the next thing is you move, you keep the anchor on, this never moves. You keep the anchor on and you move this whole shape up a string. And then back a string. And then up a string. And then back a string. And up a string. And back a string. Then move the shape down. And back up. And then move the shape up a string, and then back down a string. Move the shape back down. Two frets, up two frets, and move the three fingers, making the shape, leaving the anchor on, move them up. Right, so you practice that. Just sit there with the guitar, practicing this. E major shape, slide it up, put the bar on. Up to there, back to the E. Up to there. Up to there, back to the E, up to there, up to there, back to the E. Right, when you're getting that nice, then move the shape up to there, and then back to there. And this is where James Cameron got the music for Titanic. La, la, la. would bet a thousand pounds that that's where it came from originally. So you can practice that. It sounds pleasant, right? You can even write a song around it of your own if you want. Um, so just E major shape, slide it up, put the bar on, slide it up two frets and then move the whole thing up but keep the anchor on back down, up a string, back a string, up a string, back a string, up a string, keep the anchor on, it never moves, right? So practice that. First sit around doing this. Up a string, back a string, down two frets, up two frets, up a string with a shape, back down a string with a shape, down two frets, up two frets, la 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 Right, once you've got that going, then practice, you've got to do, be able to do the jump from that position, moving the whole shape up the string, you know, the whole shape moves up one string and moving it up at the same time without going but doing it in one jump, from there to there, and then back to there, and up to there, and then to there, and up to there, until you can do it seamlessly like that, like that, like that. Then try going for longer distances, say from the G to the E up there. G, G, or from the F sharp. Whole shape up a string and up all those frets. Shape back down the string and all the way back down to there. And then do that until you can do it seamlessly. Big jumps. Then. Right? Now once you've got that, you've moved the shape up. This can then, like the E chord, the E major shape can be slid up and down. 
Once you move the whole shape up to the A, this is like the A shape. Well, the, the, I'm not playing A here, this is an E, but that's an A shape, right? Then that can be slid up and down. Now when you've got this A shape like this sliding it up and down, sometimes the, the bottom E drone here, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, you'll get to know where it works. With, the, with this A shape on the 7th fret here, you're playing an E. That is an E. So the E drone works. If I slide this down to the D position, the E drone at the top, the DP drone here, kind of works sometimes, other times just don't play it. But if it works, keep it in. Slide down to there. It works there. Slide down to the C. Kind of works, depends what you're doing. So you can bring this drone in with this, once you move this E major shape up to there, making the A shape, and you're moving it around. Sometimes the drone works, sometimes it doesn't. So sometimes play it. Works there. Works there. Works there. Works there. Works there. But other times it doesn't work and you just don't play it. Like there, you might not want to play it. Don't play it. Don't play the bottom E here. Right? Okay. So that's all it is. That shape and that shape. That shape and that shape. And then you'll get used to hearing where these two shapes in different positions, what sound they make. I mean, roughly, starting with the E shape at the bottom, that's obviously E. That's F sharp. Oh, sorry, F. F sharp, G, G sharp, A, B, C, D. And then move it to the, move the whole shape up a string, and then you've got E, D, C sharp, C, B, but it's a kind of weird ringing droney B, or all the chords, they're not real traditional chords, right? But the sole point, this, people don't, who've been playing the guitar a long time, they don't play the traditional shapes, right? This is what gives you, this is, this is the whole thing about busking, right? And then you, but once you learn the sound of where these, diff, these two shapes in different positions the sound they make, you can start to do things like, you know. My name is Luca. I live on the second floor. Yes, I think you see. I live upstairs from you, sorry. Yes, I think you see me before. And then move up to there, but slide down to there. They only hit it. Whoops, sorry. They only hit them till you cry. After. You just don't argue anymore. You just don't argue anymore. You just don't argue anymore. Yeah. And you can do things like um, he comes for conversation. I showed you how to do copying conversation with the other busker technique down here with that anchor, but it sounds more Joni using these, this chord technique. He comes for conversation. I comfort him sometimes. Coffee and conversation. He knows that's what he'll find. I bring him. And Jesus, he brings me songs to play. I see him when he pleases. Whoops, I see him in cafes. I don't know the words, but do the
which is the same slide up used in Willow. Slide up. I said I'm strong, strong, yeah, willing to be your shelter in a storm. To do love and affection, it's those. It, that's all it is. It's that shape, the E major shape, slid around with the bar behind it. Then you move the whole shape up to there. Right? You can do all Joni's, most of Joni's old classic songs using this technique. So, to do love and affection, you need to learn one extra chord, and it's this ninth fret with these two fingers, and then these two go on the D and A two frets up. So that is a hard one to fret, but that's the chord. And you just pick the strings all the way down from the top. Yeah. I am not in and then slide down to the E major shape down there. Love with the bar. Slide it up. I'm open. Move the whole shape up. To persuasion. Move the shape back down. East or west. Now there's one more thing to learn. Just bring the, the, the bar back on the E string only, but leave the chord where it is. Where's the bell? For romancing. With a friend. With a lover, I could hold my head back and really laugh, really laugh. Strange chord. Thank you. You took me dancing, cheek to cheek. Slide up again to the G. Sax solo. <laughs> now 
That was one of the things she does that thing. Um, now if I can feel the sun. Let's put that cold on. Love with affection. I mean, me, my love. Now, the, yes, and, and Joni, you, you know, uses this technique a lot. Um, the first album she did with Pam Nesta, I think it's called Have You Met My Family. If you don't know it, it's probably the best Joan Armour trading album. I mean, it's got as many brilliant songs on as her first two solo albums, uh, Love and Affection and Joan Armour Trading. Uh, she co-wrote all the songs with Pam Nesta when they were both in Birmingham together. Then they split, Pam Nesta went off to get a career as a reggae singer. But the, a lot of the songs on that you can do with this technique, like... Um, let me stay... And I don't know the lyrics, so I'm going to bluff it, you know, but... Let me stay... To the depths of your soul, let me anchor as near as I can be to your shore. I'm coming in to dry land. It's been a long time at sea, and the seasons of loving have long awaited me. Sorry, I get a bit quavery singing this song. have kept me, kept me going, I'm longing for the shore, I'm heading for the pasture, I can't sing on your dry land, let the seas which one Take me, bring me back safe to your shore But I long to touch the dry land of your shore Clear back the decks, wanna land Clear the decks, let me touch your soul Baby, I'll bring you back the gift of love And I'll promise you so much more You can try pulling off that harmonica in some songs from that E. Right? Yeah, and you can do things like Oh, the feeling when you're reeling You step lightly thinking you're number one Down to zero and they were leaving you For another one Again, I don't know the lyrics And then I remember Oops, sorry I remember the walk and the la 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 whatever Sorry, but he put trouble in your heart instead. You fall down to the gr ground, down to the ground. Sorry. Oh, the heartache you've been in when you're thinking of your mother's only son. Take to your bed. They say there's peace in your sleep, but you dream of love. Instead, oh, the heartache you'll find. Na 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 so Joan armor trading are plenty with this technique, yeah? Plus, you know. Yeah, 
Well, the deputy walks on hot nails and the preacher rides a mount. And nothing really matters much, it's too much on the counts. And the one I don't take out, he blows a futile home. Tell him, she said, I'll give you a shelter from the storm. My baby's waiting like a morning dove And old men with broken teeth Stranded where I love Do I understand your question, man? Is it hopeless and forlorn? Come in, she said, I'll give you Shelter from the storm That's a good party piece, that one. Good busking one. Really rings out. Once you learn the sound these chords are making, E, B, A, G, D, C, F sharp, etc., you can just, you know, um, every breath you take, every move you make, every hug you make, every hug you make, I'll be watching you, every single. boss that all the time and I'd use this technique to do it because it, it, it massively rings out and sounds really loud. Actually, I was busking it in Covent Garden once and um, who was the drummer? Copeland came up and he just stood there watching the whole thing and then he just gave me the thumbs up when I finished and walked up. Um, yeah, uh, I'll be watching you. Oh, can't you see? That maybe. Since you got up in lust without electric, dreaming that I can only see your face. Look around, but it's you I can't replace. Keep on crying, baby, baby. Do other ones, you know, like um, <laughs> you know, that's all it is all the way through, right? So, it's, but it rings out more when you're busking, which makes the guitar louder. It's a droning, rich sound that draws people in if your voice over the top is good you know it gives you twice as much loudness and power um, as, as using this technique that still gives you this great drone with these two you know don't you know we're talking about a revolution sound like a whisper don't you know Standing in the welfare lines Crying on the steps, steps of those armies of salvation Wasting time in the unemployment lines So you still got that great droning with this technique But this is another technique that gives you 
Mm. Yeah. Which you can work into your repertoire, and you can write songs with it, of course, as well. You know. <laughs> So there is another busker technique. It's the E major shape. This anchor stays on all the time, never moves. You're going to kill your fingers sliding up and down, but work at it and gradually they'll toughen up. Practice stop, practice stop. Keep doing it and after a couple of weeks, your fingertips will be like rock. You'll be able to slide this around and really press on. Learn when the drone on the E works with this shape and when it doesn't, work it in and out. Sometimes you'll have it, like on the E there, but move down to there. You will not play that top E, that bottom E rather. Yeah, sometimes it works. Up a slice and I'll ride the rest home. <laughs>